September 11, 2001. In Shanghai, the World Financial Center is a foundation waiting for a building. Across the world in New York, engineers at Leslie E. Robertson and Associates, among them managing partner Sortine C, begin a typical workday in their offices a few blocks from the world's fourth tallest building, the 110-story towers of the World Trade Center. I was in my office, um, beautiful day, and um, an engineer came running to me and said, you know, a plane went into the Trade Center. And I thought it was one of those, you know, news helicopters that fly around here. So anyway, we were here, and we all gathered around the windows in this conference room, uh, looking at the building. Um, and that's when we saw the, the second plane come by this way, and um, just went straight into the building. That's when we realized it was not an accident. One horrifying day transformed the world's tallest skyscrapers from icons of power into potential death traps. When work resumed on the Shanghai World Financial Center a year and a half later, the design teams had more on their minds than typhoons and earthquakes. The horror of September 11 still hung over the world. One man who felt that horror keenly was structural engineer Leslie Robertson, who had also designed the World Trade Center. I got back to New York and I went to the site and I guess I wasn't prepared for that. It took a while before I could even actually look at it. To this moment, I, I I still think of all those people that I met, and they were looking for something that I that I just don't have. They wanted, I think, largely they wanted me to say that their husband or their brother or their father died like that. And I don't know. I don't think I ever got through the experience of 9-11. I, I mean, it's a problem with me today. Robertson redesigned the financial center using some of the same innovative ideas he used to build the World Trade Center, especially the outrigger trusses and modular design that helped stabilize his lighter, taller building design while giving it extra strength. But the new design also made the World Financial Center a skyscraper for a post-9-11 world. We feel very confident that the project would sustain the impact of the aircraft that are flying right now. What if the unthinkable happened and a fuel-laden jetliner smashed at top speed into the Shanghai World Financial Center? The impact area would be devastated and the burning jet fuel would ignite an inferno. But the people inside the building would have options those inside the World Trade Center didn't have. I think in 9-11, the most frightening image for people is that the occupants above the fire had really had no choice. Uh, you know, they would either perish in the fire or they would choose to, to, to leap off. So I think that really affected us in a profound way. In the financial center, people above the impact zone can escape via secure stairway systems in the central core of the building. But just in case, the architects gave them another way out. We took the observation elevators, which are running up the corners of the building, and actually allow those to enter the office building at every 12 floors. So in a way, it becomes a sort of a last resort lifeboat. So in case the, the core itself is disabled, a lot of people's instinct is just to try to go down. But what you potentially could do is go up and then go to the, the corners of the building uh, and the elevators are, are really protected by the corner mega columns and then go down. If they still can't get out, they have yet another way to survive. This is floor 78, 
one of the specially designed refuge floors built every 12 levels. Deputy Manager Bernie Wren inspects its construction. Keenly aware of the role this room might play in any emergency. These rooms are designed to let people take refuge in if there is ever a fire or an accident. The whole building is enclosed by glazing except for the refuge floors. On these floors, there will be normal windows instead of glazing so that people can get fresh air while they wait to be rescued. And that's not all. These refuge floors are wrapped in specially thickened, fireproofed steel. People escaping a fire or a terrorist attack can make their way to one of these floors, knowing they have a greater chance of survival. And the World Financial Center's modular design could also save lives. If any part of the building collapses, the steel and trusses linking the modules should carry the load and keep the building upright. So I, I, I think uh, maybe it could be said that the Shanghai World Financial Center is perhaps the safest tall building on the planet. <laughs>